So Craig Bellamy has made a decent start. Three possible outcomes for Wales tonight in their final Nations League game. Jamie, talk us through the permutations. Uh, I can do. If you thought the San Marino thing was complicated, <laughs> this is even more complicated. Okay. Right, OK. Straightforward. If Wales lose tonight, they'll have a relegation playoff against a Group C team. If they draw tonight, they'll have a promotion playoff against a Group A team. So, as things stand, that could potentially be Scotland, for right. example. This is where it gets really tricky. So, if they win and Turkey lose against Montenegro, straight into Group A for Wales. And we could potentially have England, Wales and Scotland all in Group A when the Nations League comes around again, which is fantastic. If they win and Turkey draw against Montenegro, Wales will win the group if they beat Iceland by four goals tonight. If Turkey have a goalless draw, <laughs> it gets worse. If Turkey have a goalless draw and Wales win 3-0, then they'll be level on goal scored and it'll be decided on a disciplinary record or their Nations League seeding. So it is very convoluted, but I'm sure all those Wales players going out tonight in Cardiff, all they'll have on their mind is winning that game against Iceland. They can't affect what happens in Montenegro. But, yeah, as you said, it's been a great start for Craig Bellamy and this would be the, the icing on the cake if they can do the job tonight. Yeah, indeed. It would be great, like you say, to have England, Wales and Scotland all in that uh, top Group A. Uh, Craig Bellamy's made a, a, an impression, you'd have to say, since taking the job with Wales. Uh, what's been some of the key factors behind them going unbeaten in his first five matches in charge, do you think? I think Rob Page did a great job, you know, taking over from Ryan Giggs, you know, at a difficult time and obviously got them to a World Cup. They underperformed at World Cup. I think Wales fans would admit that. But things had gone a bit stale. Craig Bellamy's come in and this is the difference. Their Euro 2024 qualifying, their possession was about 44% per match. In the Nations League under Craig Bellamy, it's been 55.6%. They're completing more passes. They're creating more big chances over twice as many big chances mm. per game as they were under Rod Page in that qualifying campaign. So basically, they're keeping the ball more, they're creating more chances, they're more exciting to watch. And I suppose you'd have to say, as I said, things have maybe got a bit stale under Rod Page. Craig Bellamy, with the CVs got, with the playing career he had, the players are obviously listening to him, they obviously respect him, he's come in and he's had an immediate impact. And as I said, if they can get the job done tonight, then I think he can be very satisfied with his start as Wales manager.